All right. Your event is starting. Click start streaming. Awesome. So hopefully that's starting. Now. Oh, gosh. I got to pop that back in. So welcome to the stream, guys. Um, today I'm going to be looking at creating a custom, I guess, live stream overlay thing because I've got um, – Something has been brought to my attention, and I want to play with it. It's this thing called Streamlabs, and it basically allows you to create these awesome widgets and custom things to make your stream that much more effective. So I'm going to be playing around with that, and they have like things for like alerts, um, stuff like that, uh, and etc. So I'm going to jump in here, but... First, I want to see if you guys are in the chat. Okay, cool. So if you notice right on the screen right away, there actually is a YouTube counter down there at the bottom, and that shows how many people are actually um, watching at the concurrent time. Um, so we're just going to be kind of playing around today, and I'm going to try to answer your guys' questions um, to the best of my ability. Let's see. You are looking fat. Thank you. <laughs> I'm trying to look fab tonight. I'm gonna. I also um, going to try to see where I should put chat so I can read it. So it's like right here. Um, it comes up on the stream over on the right side, but I need some place where I can put it to um, always have it. So I think just like that. I'm gonna have all my files on this side. So what's up, guys? Um, today's just gonna be kind of a fun stream. I'm just gonna be. Uh, going through and creating some stuff. So, I guess first things first, I am going to create a folder with some stream files and then adjust these things. So, what I have is um, kind of fun to play around with. So, ultimately, I wanted to create something so that whenever I was in full screen, I could, you know, f work on my stuff in full screen and not have to worry about like scaling issues. So that's why I adjusted this um, uh, parameter to anything I want. Hold on. Oh, I had a sneeze, but I just didn't have a sneeze. So that is pretty exciting. So I'm going to leave that right about there. Should be, should snap. So that looks good. Um, and then... I have to decide what I want to put down here. So as you can see, um, if you guys subscribe or unsubscribe, I now have this ability uh, within Streamlabs to see what you guys are doing. So if I have test widgets, if someone subscribes, that would happen on my channel. So I really like this, that it's, it's ultimately going to help me become more integrated with you guys um, as well as I'm going. but. I really wanted to ask the question about how's the stream quality? Um, should I decrease the size? Also, this is what I look at. Uh, this thing right here. Um, it's like my Streamlabs editor uh, guy. So you're going to kind of see some inception right now. But I'm wondering if I should decrease the size of my camera a little bit. But ultimately, that would also decrease the size of your guys's. Uh, chat box so I'm wondering if maybe I completely remove the chat or do you guys like seeing the chat um, this streams all gonna be about your feedback so if you're in the stream I would appreciate some feedback uh, I have a question uh, how did you learn to do everything you do in Premiere and Photoshop did you go to college for it so whenever I started creating anything uh, I resorted to YouTube and oh I also just noticed that this thing has a chat right here but why is the chat not okay that's weird maybe I have to pop it back in uh, let's see let's go up to the top restore chat okay so maybe that live chat isn't working um, at the current moment but I started on YouTube um, also sorry if this is all over the place um, I'm just kind of trying this out and hopefully learning so I'm gonna go to live control room oh so this is like it's saying it's zero viewers because I have where am I at I'm streaming but my chat is not showing oh here we go live chat here we go so 
it's showing it's not showing up over here and I'm trying to figure out why uh, that's all right but just honestly play around on YouTube and that's how I started learning so I'm gonna have to pop out the chat for now I'll figure out why this live chat isn't working for right now I have to watch this one over here so I can read you guys comments um, and just kind of play around on YouTube and looking things up in tutorials and then I was like hey I can do that and then I started playing around more and more and then I got better and better so something that I'm noticing is that this resolution is um, in a 4k resolution and I'm downscaling it to 1080p for you guys so when I'm creating these project files I have to make sure my uh, image and everything is or the like the canvas size is 4k resolution which it is and 3840 by 2160 so that's the full resolution of my monitor so for example in the stream labs area it's telling me that my current um, pixel right here is around 258 so I could basically um, make something 258 pixels wide that would cover this black space right here because my idea is to give you guys the full screen view of whatever I'm working on right here and then having all this extra fluff is what I'm gonna call it uh, to allow you to um, interact more with the streams and if you guys like have a donation or something it would say like the last person who donated would be John donated $26 etc or if you have a super chat um, donated through super chat and then it would go your chat so that's stuff I'm working on Currently, I only have the subscriber one. Um, and then I'm going to do some custom logos as well um, for that stuff. But I'm going to have to be working on all that stuff. So for now, I'm going to just create a bar that's 258 pixels. But I know that I want to cover up this too. So I'm just going to guesstimate that that's going to be like 275 pixels. So I'm going to go in here and create a rectangular tool. Just click and I'm going to make the height... 275 pixels and then I'm gonna make the width 100 pixels so I can change that so I'm going to click on the fill and make it the color that I've selected up here so geez, it's been a while since I've done Photoshop which is 21 21 21 21 go to the fill and then change that color to the recently used one and now I can adjust it Control T and then adjust that to my width. Now, I honestly don't have to drag it out all the way, uh, but I can. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to constantly keep working on this and save this to an area. So, I'm going to go, oh my gosh, look at all this. I need to delete so many files, uh, but that's why I got multiple different storage stuff. So, I'm going to have a day where I just kind of delete stuff. Uh, so, live stream files, and I'm going to name this live stream overlay. I'm going to save it as a PSD first because uh, I don't believe the Streamlabs thing will work with the PSD. Uh, we can try it. Oh, whoops. What did I just do? Oh, I literally just deleted your guys' uh, let's see. Display capture. Add source. Nope. Uh, not a display capture. It's going to be like a window. Not a window. Video. It should be display capture, yeah. Add existing source. So, okay, now I added the top one. So now I'm going to change that monitor to my 4K monitor and bring that back down. It's snapped to the edge and rescale it down. Just like that. And so now you can see like how I can start to customize this entire. Thing. I want to hide like the file stuff and I'll drag this down to the bottom. Let's see what's going on. So look, Connor, so like look, that is a good example right now. So since Connor Barr just donated two dollars through Super Chat and said hi, that's something that I have the capability of moving around. Um, if you if I click it again, um, you can see like what it is. So I'm working on different ways of integrating it. So this stream is gonna be kind of a customization thing. So it would be awesome if you guys could give some feedback. Um, so I'm gonna keep reading through these and keep working on it. You don't have to watch the stream if you don't want to. Um, I know that's a side question, but what camera would you recommend? I've been working on the GH5S and the Sony A7R. Kind of split between those two. What would you recommend? I would honestly recommend whatever you want. GH5S is great for low light. 
I used the GH5. Um, and then the Sony um, A7R three is also good at low light, but the GH5 will give you better performance when it comes to slow motion. And the Sony w will have better autofocus, but the GH5 will also have a better battery life. Um, okay, so let's, Connor also, thank you again for that little donation. So I want to go back into Premiere because that's mainly what I'm going to be editing in and create my layout just to fit Premiere. So I want to hide that top bar. So I'm going to drag that up. That looks good just like that. And that's pretty far to the right. Now I have my image and my little black bar. So I'm going to save that again because I saved it as a PSD. I'm also going to save it as a PNG because PNG will allow me to do a transparent background. So I'm going to save that, come back into Premiere, and then I'm going to I'm gonna give myself more room to work with. Okay, and then I'm going to make sure live stream is selected, add a source, and it's actually just the image. So I can rename this image, or I can browse for the image. Da -da -da -da, live stream files, live stream overlay. So once I click that and drag that in, you'll see that right away it uh, threw it in there. Um, and my camera got disappeared. Uh, so let's see. Let's drag the image to... Or let's just drag the image. The image needs to be on top. Besides, below the YouTube view counter, my video capture device, which is my webcam, needs to be on top of that. So now I can see that I have a little bit more, uh, a couple more pixels to go, like 262. So a fun thing I can do is just kind of play around with this and see where I need to go. I need to snap this to the edge. Man, I wish this would snap better. Like when I'm scaling it. Okay, that's fine. So let's increase that bottom one a little bit more. All right. And that looks good. And honestly, it's going to be a lot of... Uh, so let's just save that. And let's also save that as the PNG again. The cool thing is I can just click on PNG right away and click on a live stream. Click save and that will replace the file. And ultimately, once it replaces the file, it will update the, the, the stream. So that was too far, uh, but we need to see how far that is. I'm going to try to keep reading your guys' comments as it comes along. Um, good night, Kyler. My name is Gabriel. What's up, Gabriel? Love your work. Very inspired by you. Thank you for acquaintance with us. No problem, guys. Um, appreciate the support. Uh, what's up, Anthony? Thank you so much. The presets are always fun to make. It's good morning in India. You guys, it's so early. Or, yeah, it's early over there. Please reply. What up, An Anadu? I can never say your guys' names. You guys always do that to me. Um, yeah, Steve, I'm doing a live stream overlay because I wanted to customize it. So this stream is not going to be um, an interesting one. I just felt like I should keep talking to you guys to get some feedback. So right now I need to see how go into Premiere, and I need to see how much more room I need. So I know I want to include probably right about there. So let's see. So honestly, not that much. So drag that up, just like that. And on the Photoshop thing, I'm gonna drag that down just a little bit more. Save that, and then save it as a PNG. So it updates. Save, yes. Go back to this stream and wait for it to update. Okay, so that actually looks pretty perfect uh, for what I want. So I'm gonna put this over here. And kinda open it up to you guys and see what you think. Um, so what else we need to do is come into, got a hair, into this area. And I'm going to add a little blue line. So I'm going to pick my color picker, switch those colors, 
and that blue color is right there. And then I'm going to add just like a little blue line. So I think it was something like that. Um, the stroke, no stroke. The fill, recently used colors. And then I'm just going to drag that blue line down. So that's my blue line, and it's a little it's a little thick. So I'm gonna zoom in and drag that down. Okay, so that looks good. Now keep in mind the webcam's over here, so I can really customize this if I wanted to. Uh, but all I do is I'm just gonna consistently save and save as to kind of keep going on and seeing what this is gonna look like. So yes, I wanna override it. Uh, welcome to the stream, guys. Um, all right, so now we're back in Premiere, and this is kind of what we're getting at. All right, so I'll move that up. I hate how this thing keeps moving. I need to just full screen this and move it one. Oh, I can't full screen it because then it's stream inception. I'm going to put up the top screen and then move this just like that. Nice. So I'm going to lock that now. So that's adjustments. So that looks pretty good. Um, so now I can, the YouTube view counter, I can move up. Uh, unlock that. So now I can move that here. So that shows how many people are currently viewing. Um, so yeah, I kind of like this. Uh, maybe the blue bar is a little too, too thick. What's up, guys? Uh, first, through OBS. So this is OBS, actually. Um, this is, well, this is Streamlabs OBS. Um, I originally used OBS, but Streamlabs has a lot of different features, like the one I de demoed earlier when I get a new subscriber. Um, oh, which reminds me, I have to put that above everything. So when I get a new subscriber, it'll do something like that and give a little sound. Um, so that's something I'm going to be working on. Um, and different layouts and stuff. But so far, I kind of like what's going on right now. Um, but I just gotta remember is is this enough for you guys in the chat watching now all 17 of you is this enough for you guys to be able to see what I'm doing within Premiere when I do like future live tutorials and stuff um, and etc or like Great showing today. you videos um, so yeah just let me know and I gotta work on levels and volume so, um, cause that's something I'm going to be working on because I want to make this stream the best stream possible. What's up, Iker? Um, so, yeah, see, Elias Walther just subscribed. And the cool thing about this is I can set up my stream and I can go to uh, a dashboard on my Streamlabs and um, it kind of shows me all of these events and stuff that's going on and like who donated stuff so I can see what you guys are doing um, ultimately I just want to become more interactive with you guys um, alright so this is pretty good I like where the aesthetic of this is going um, it's not exactly perfect but you know I didn't think it would be video capture device display capture unlock that I want to move it up just a tiny bit or down a tiny bit. That looks good. I'm going to lock that again. And then, um, also, I'm like, for everyone else, again, who's freaking out that I'm not in here, I'm up here in the top uh, looking at this thing. The only thing I have to figure out is this live chat, why it's not working. Um, but that's all right. So what do I need to add down here? Um, sound too loud in Premiere. Okay, cool. So that just my desktop audio device. So that's something I can turn down. So something like that would be fine. I'm going to put this stream over here. Um, so that should be fine. Do is hit Control Shift E or click this little short frame button. If you don't see that button, so that should be fine. Button editor over here. Uh, and let me know how that sound is as we continue on. Um, so what's next? Like what do I want in this bottom area that, um, hope you don't mind, but stealing some ideas, once I finish my buddies, I wanted to redo mine. Um, 
You might have to link your account on the Steam Labs subs. Totally. Um, I have no idea what the Steam Labs uh, SOB is or whatever. It's something I'm going to be looking into because I want to create mine and make it unique as possible. Um, so that's why I'm currently customizing it. I'm going to adjust the webcam over to the right. Okay, so I can see that white line coming out. So a little bit more. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now I can lock my webcam. I'm going to lock that webcam, and then I'm going to rename. And then I'm going to rename that webcam as right-click, rename, and then name this as webcam. Cool. So now that that's there, um, let's see. I'm thinking out loud. Uh, Edge of Premiere, we have that stuff. I have the YouTube view counter. Do I need something over here on the YouTube view counter so you guys can see like what that is? I think it's kind of like 13. Like what does that number mean? You know what I mean? I could also do something where I like completely um, remove this. Why can't I select it? Oh, that's why. YouTube view counter. It's locked. That's why. So I could like completely move this thing around and just have like concurrent viewers so I could have like a text that uh, slightly louder I'll bump up about five decibels cool thanks guys um, a text that says concurrent viewers or something uh, so I'll probably do something like that just to I don't know make it unique um, but that's something I'm gonna be playing around with so within Photoshop recent um, Recent donation box and recent sub box. People love, so, so yeah, people love seeing their names, and that's why I have like super chat. So when people donate through super chat, there's gonna be something that I'm gonna create, and I'll probably have like a little better pop up window or create a custom thing. Um, but and then donations as well. Uh, but people can't really donate to uh, these type of channels. I don't know how they would go about doing that. I know they can do super chats. Um, and then sponsors, I don't have that because uh, I'm not a gaming channel. So the only one that I really have is the subscribe one. So that's something I'm going to be looking into as well. Um, so I'm just trying to think. Um, I could put, so uh, one thing that I want to put is obviously my Instagram handle and my at handle, but that's currently at the top. Um, so what if, I don't want to change the layout too much, but what if I like took the entire top half of my live stream and just chop that off and put everything down to the bottom so that this is a mess right now. Sorry about that. So that both the Instagram and the Twitter were down at the bottom. And then it was just like the live stream at the top is something that I was working on. I really need to organize this area a little bit more, but I don't feel like it currently. So this is down here now. So that way, I could put more information on the top. And let me just get this about center. That's pretty good to me. So now, when I save this, I have to find out wh how far in my webcam is. Something like that would be nice. Let's save that. And let's also change the live stream font because I want that to be bigger and straight into proportions how big can we make it that was good to me let's let's no that might be too big okay that should be fine again save that and then we're gonna save this as a PNG and yes replace that and let's check out what it looks like okay cool so for some reason I like the look of this um, the YouTube view counter something that's still gonna work on I think it's nice to have that down there uh, let's see what are you guys saying I just want to say you're awesome and the best thank you Rude Zemin. Uh donations are there mainly for twitch or if you put a donation link in the description for the stream 
it links to Streamlabs and then goes to PayPal usually. Interesting. So that would be something that I could do. If I could set up a donation thing where like recent donation and linked it back to uh, like PayPal, that would be nice. Um, Cause I know YouTube gaming doesn't, or YouTube doesn't support donations. Uh, that'd be cool. Um, I'll do that. Um, I'll figure that out. It's good. Thank you guys. Uh, Saludos. What's up, Marcy? Um, I don't understand everything you say because I'm Brazilian, but I follow all your videos. That's awesome. Thank you for the support. Now, I currently don't have um, like Brazilian videos. I don't speak any other language besides English and sometimes a little Spanish. Uh, so it's something that I'm going to be thinking about. So what else up here at the top? Um, that seemed to be pretty big. Uh, I know that Premiere one I want to make just a tiny bit bigger. Yeah, so that's good. Do I want any more information up here? Like, uh, so like for the top donator, I could like, um, recent or like recent donator or something. I'd have to get like a text that, um, you know, works with it. So, like, I do something like this, and obviously you scale it down quite a bit. And it could be like top recent donator. So that way it would show their name. And I know there's some way. Uh, do we want to go? No, nah, I want to go recent donator. Um, so it would show their name like right here. Um, and I'm sure there's a way within like Streamlabs, like let's see, sources, uh, donation go or like event list. Okay, cool. Yeah, so like event list includes like donation subscriptions. I'm gonna add that. Um, donation, and this might be something that I'm gonna have to play with and set up later. Oh, cool. It, it actually shows, like, the recent, um, like, the actual recent um, donations. Like, look, th they're already here. Like, Connor just uh, donated a little while ago. Okay. Um, I guess I'll have to find... Um, I guess I'll have to find out because I don't know if I've had more than four donations. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, I guess I'll have to find out whenever I get um another donation donation ticker alert box select event list. So that would probably be it, and then I can customize. Go to widget settings. Let's see what this does. Okay, so I don't want to show that widget. Upgraded to tier one. Okay, crisscross. Let's see carbon. Ooh, these are kind of cool. Um, for the donation, I'll link the page in the video of D. It's pretty easy. Um, people love to pay it forward. Yeah, that's totally awesome. Um, it's something that I, to I want to do for sure. Um, so something I'm going to be playing around with. Uh, so let's see, what do we want? I really also appreciate the help and feedback. I could do something like this where it starts from the bottom. Let's see what that looks like. Save the settings. Go to the editor. So then I don't have to worry about uh, getting up. So we could do something like down here. Do I want the recent donations down at the bottom or at the top? Hmm. Uh, let's see. Doesn't look too bad, but I feel like I want... Hmm. It depends on what it looks like. So, here, let's go to the widget settings again. I'll be back. Love your stuff. Thank you, creative art artist. Artwist. That's funny how you say it. Um, I'll be back in a bit if you're still on. I have a lot of streams set up and have helped 
pretty much all my buddies as well. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thank you, Railing. Uh, just follow me on Instagram and hit me up in the DMs. That would be the easiest way to get in touch with you if I have any questions. Um, that would awesome be awesome because I'm li literally learning about all this stuff. What's up, Lucas? Good morning. Uh, let's see. Enable events for subscribers. No, I don't want subscribers because I'll get quite a few. Max events, four. So let's make this 10 and see what happens. Do I have any? Do I even have 10 events? 10 donations? No. <laughs> I only have four. So maybe I make the max event meant four. Uh, what font do we want? There's so many different fonts that you could do. It's like they have the Google font. So it's just like you can go through here and scroll through anything. But slick looks cool. Let's see what fiber does. Okay, hearts. I don't want to do hearts. We got honeycomb, retro, solid, stripes, uh, maybe carbon. I kind of like the one like this where it uh, showed, like, highlighted the most recent one. What's up, Parvis? So let's go through here. And I like the background color. Let's change the font size a little bit. What's up? Girlfriend just got home. What's that on the stream? Hello. <laughs> so don't get naked in the background. <laughs> I'm not. I'm currently well. I'm currently like working on like creating a custom like I will create like a layout like this where it has like information and donation type stuff and I'm trying to change it up to help because like this new app that I just found out about Streamlabs it literally helps um, you stream and stuff so I want to become more interactive so I can like create these like donation things. Interesting. Yeah, how's practice? You didn't have your wallet? Uh, you didn't have your wallet. This is Sammy, everyone. <laughs> so are you going back to UDF? No. Oh. Well I'll go when I'm when I'm done streaming, I'll come back and I'll go to UDF with you. And get like donuts and milkshakes and stuff. Uh what's up, Parvis? How's this going? How how is it going? Wow, that was not English. Okay, so let's see. Do I want this donation bar down here in the bottom? Uh, to have like concurrent viewers over here on the left and I'll figure out a way to make that cleaner just like something like that uh, I'll actually just go like this and in Photoshop do like viewers view oh my gosh I cannot type here we go you know one thing that actually makes me very angry is that Photoshop does not have um, spell check within it um, so it actually is kind of frustrating when you're trying to make sure everything's spelled right because honestly I'm not perfect um, and a lot of times I spell things wrong so let's see B I E viewers. Let's scale that down. And B I E W E R. Save that. And let's save that as the PNG. So if you guys are watching the stream after the fact, just comment down below um, any tips or anything that you would like to see. Uh, because I'm all about adapting and changing okay cool that kind of looks cool uh, that actually worked out better than I thought viewers 13 so that kind of shows like how many people we have watch echo stop so that kind of shows how many people we have watching oh that's not what I wanted let's drag that Okay.
still need to size it down a little bit. Oh, never mind. Sorry. You're good. I lost my grapes. <laughs> I, I, I was eating your grapes. <laughs> I was like, you went off like 10 minutes. <laughs> okay. So for now, that'd be great. Um, I'm actually going to make it a little bit smaller because there might be some time when I get like 40 viewers or something. Not saying it's going to happen, but you never know. So that's good. Uh, what's up? Congrats on 100K. Want to learn more of LumaFade? Part of it is I've done a tutorial on LumaFades, and you can check out my channel for that. Um, it was kind of fun to play around with, uh, so definitely check that out. It's on my channel, and all you do is look up LumaFade, and there's a preset pack that comes with it. So let's see. Recent donator. That's I'm back to this thing. Like Recent donator, do I want to put it like up here? Hmm. Go to widget settings. Uh, carbon. Because I like, I keep coming back to the carbon and the chevron. But I do like that one. If I just save that. It doesn't show. It hasn't updated. Uh, let's update it to something else. Let's just do... What's the solid one? Let's just do a solid one and then... Fade down. Fade... Rotate out. What does this one do? Animation. Bounce in. Fade in. Light speed in. That's kind of cool. So let's keep this at fade in down. Okay. Fade in. And let's just do zoom out. Let's go to Iceland. Delta Drones. I'm actually going to be coming um, to Iceland here in the near future. It's going to be my graduation gift. Uh, so I'm actually really excited about it. Okay, so that shows that like most recent donation. It comes up from the bottom, though. And then it, it fades down. So maybe I do this. Since it's recent donator, then I make the widget only show one. Because I can do that. Solid. And that way I can make it as big as I want. And you can see their donation. And this way I can, let's see, move that down. Recent donator needs to be centered in my um, Premiere over, or in Photoshop over here because it's not. Uh, what part of Iceland are you going to? Oh, that's good. Delta drones. I don't know what part we're going to. I uh, just know that we are traveling for my graduation gift at the end of the year. So that is exciting. Live stream overlay. Yes, we place it. Let's see. Do we actually have 13 viewers? I never actually checked that. Let's see. It's on the watch page. Oh, 12. Yeah, 13 watching now. Cool. So it is actually working. Um. So far, I like this. Uh, viewers, create, and then whenever you guys see my head like looking up here, or over there, or over there, I have four monitors, so that's most of the time when I'm like looking all around, all over the place. Okay, so back to this guy. That looks good now. Uh, let's drag that to there. Up a little bit. Uh, up two more. Recent donator, Connor Bar. Okay, cool. So I like that. 
uh, we're just going to go through one last time. And I might change the um, background color. Oh, no, 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 not that. I didn't want to do that. Preview, oh, that's preview for purchase. Okay, text color. Um, other options. Yeah, not too much I can do there, so that's all right. So let's go back to the editor, and let's do, if we get a donation. So John donated 80. That'd be kind of cool. So it would just kind of update and then stay up there. Uh, so that that's nice. Okay, cool. So now let's see if that's going to update and go back to Connor Bar. Refresh cache. Okay, cool. Yeah, you just refresh the cache, and then it'll refresh there. What's up, Bakong Huang? <laughs> I literally can never say your guys' names. All right, so live stream. So what do I want to do down here again? Because I could do the donation thing down here in the bottom and have, like, um, multiple donations so people can see their things. Or I could have this one at the top, like, the top donator, you know, um, or supporter, you know, whatever you want. Um, that would be like a big thing. Like if you get that spot, then it's like on all of my live streams, your channel's there or something. Um, let's see. I have my social media handles. Should I do another one for Facebook? Um, because my Facebook is actually a business Facebook. I mean, I have my personal Facebook, but, um, the Kyler Harlan media that I run is just like my business Facebook um, profile. So that might be something that I'll look into doing. I just, I don't know, Kyler Harlan media. Do, do I really need to publish that on YouTube? I don't know. Something I'm going to be thinking about. I like how I'm like thinking out loud. Um, what's up, Nicola? Um, I'm out of Ohio. So it's in the United States and in Ohio. Oh, let's see. Let's go to the sources and see what I can add. So I already have the viewer account. Donation ticker. How is that different than the event list? Oh, okay. I like that. Donation ticker. Let's just figure out where that guy is. Go to widget settings. Okay, message format, name, amount. Max donations. Ten. I mean, let's make this 25. I mean, I'm never probably going to get to 25, but... Um, uh, let's see. Let's pick a cool font. Start with ten. Uh, so the thing that you can do is, since all these fonts are the Google fonts, you can actually just look up Google fonts, and then scroll through here and see which one uh, you like. So Amatica SC is kind of cool. I think I've used that one before. That one's nice. Uh, let's see. I like an all caps one. Because uh, those are like my favorite. Um, this is like scribbles. There has to be another. Then, oh, that's nice. Con. Um, let's do well, Shadows into Light. That's one I've used too. Unica one. That's something that's very unique. And then you can just come down here and look it up. Unico 1. And then we can click apply. So Zach, I like that. Yeah. So let's go back to the editor. Um, where is it, though? It's like, oh, it's over here.
That's the alert box. Donation ticker. Okay, do I so do I not have any donations? Or how does it work? Uh donation ticker. So the chat what the heck? Okay, so maybe it doesn't work because maybe it only works when people come in or something. I don't know how that works. Awesome. You're sharing a travel plan with you. It took me one year to spot the best locations. I'll send it to your Facebook page. Awesome. Thanks, Delta Drones. Um, that would be awesome to check out because I'm going to be bringing all my camera gear and would love to see what to do and where to explore. And totally when you go, hit me up on Instagram and send me your stuff. Okay, so why is this donation ticker not, like, you probably have to get donations, honestly. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, well, that's the chat. Okay. Editor. I mean, John donated. And I have the alert over here, and then John donated. But why is the donation ticker not working? I will. I'll just move that one. Let's add another thing. Stream label. What does that mean? Oh, placeholder supports most recent follower. Hey, that's kind of cool. Uh, so let's see what we can do. All-time top donor. That's pretty nice. Top 10. All-time top donations. All-time top donor. Um, use Google font. What was the one? Unica. One. Done. Okay. Why is it, why is it like this? Preview, may take up 60 seconds. Vertical, I'm gonna make it horizontal. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Somehow we still have viewers in here. I totally thought we would get no viewers. Uh. Alignment, center, label type, Why is this not showing? Clearly it's showing that it's like, down here it's showing the preview. Actual label may take up 60 seconds. So we'll just leave that one. I don't know. <sighs> I'm, I'm getting hungry. But um, let's see. What else? Donation. John 14. What else can I add? There's a subscription goal. Please enter a sub. Uh, 
Okay, so like here's one. Like Amir Blotch just subscribed. Um subscriber goal. Okay, so that's subs a subscriber goal. Subscriber goal would be cool right here. Um so so I know these things work. Subscriber goal, I can adjust the things. Go to widget settings. Let's see. Is anyone still in the chat? No one is in the chat. I sample goal. Title. Title. Sub. Subscriber. Goal. Goal amount. One hundred zero. And after three zero three twenty nine. It's, uh, it's not seventeen. Month. Oh, it's. No, yeah, month, day, oh, year, 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 20. So start that. Zero hours to go. Thirty. Start for one day to go. Cool. All right, deck visuals, luxury. Yo. At work too, but this is helping when I get back on it. Good. I'm glad you are working. Um, hopefully, I'll like give someone else ideas, but uh, this is something that I think we all should like potentially look at. So, I need a subscriber. <laughs> I know that sounds weird, but I need a subscriber to see if this thing is working. So that works. Um, uh, honestly, for now, I don't hate it. But just have something like that. Uh, I got recent donation, John up there. Um, I ultimately want to show like donators um, like more, but this concurrent layout for like whenever I'm working in Premiere Pro, I actually like. So I'm going to be playing around with this software for a little while, and I'm going to be constantly updating my um, layout. But let's see. Can I adjust the settings? Bar thickness. Uh, background color, layout, condensed. Ooh, standard. Nice. Uh, looks good. So I'm going to be continuing to play around with this because I think this looks nice. And there's also another uh, ton of little features that you can do for, like, when you are live. You can just come over here and, like, hit buttons and stuff and uh, see the alerts because ultimately I want to get better at interacting with you guys because um, I think that will be great. But... For now, I am going to jump off because I think I've made a lot of progress in what my stream looks like and what I want them to look like. Um, I just got to make sure the viewers. Um, I got to make sure that thing like works because I don't think it refreshes very often. Um, so if it does, I'll keep it up. But since I don't know if it does. Uh, Cause let's see, it says eleven watching now, and it says ten down here. Uh, cool idea. Maybe it just doesn't update until like every few seconds or whatever. But thank you guys for streaming in. I know it was a pretty boring stream, um, but hopefully I give you some ideas. I'm just trying to update my stream setup to make it uh, more unique. Okay, maybe it does work. I just had it locked, but twelve viewers are in here now. Um, 
What's up, Deck? You said you were late, but you'll review. Um, for now, I'm going to get to work on the drone wall tutorial that you guys have all been asking me about um, for this one. Uh, so that's going to be fun. But I'll see you guys later. I'm going to grab some food with the girlfriend. Let's see. Now I can't end the stream right away because I don't, I don't know what the thing is. Later, guys.